Okay, so now we're going to jump into Photoshop and design the home page for the podcast.fm web application. So the purpose of this page is really it just acts like a filter. Uh, a user lands on this page and then all we really want them to do is either sign up or explore and discover podcasts. Uh, so we want to keep the design super clean, super simple, and super focused. So for that, I was thinking it'd be awesome if we had a full height, full width image for the background, uh, just and then on top have a uh, simple title and uh, one or two buttons that lead you to sign up or uh, explore. So I've already gone through and downloaded a number of photos uh, to possibly use for this homepage design. Uh, but I just want to give you a quick shout out to uh, unsplash.com. Uh, it's a incredibly valuable resource uh, to find beautiful uh, photography that you can use in your designs. Um, I've already gone through here and picked out uh, all the ones that I think could work in this uh, demo application. I would definitely recommend you going through the site and checking it out because they have a lot of free photography that you can use in your designs. It's uh, quite awesome, in my opinion. Definitely worth uh, checking out. But anyway, let's uh, get started. So in uh, Photoshop, I just have a document at 2880 by uh, 1650. I usually like to work at a pretty big uh, pixel uh, dimension just because it's easier to scale an asset down than it is to scale it up. So if you're working uh, big from the start, then if you need like a uh, 2x asset for like retina or something, then you can easily export it uh, as such. To begin, I'm just gonna make some guides. I'm gonna use a extension called uh, Guide Guide. That's another thing I wanted to show you guideguide.me. It's an extension for Photoshop and it makes making guides super simple. So I would definitely recommend going to guideguide.me and checking that out. Uh, but I'm just going to add some quick guides and then I'll add one of my own about right here. That looks pretty good. This uh, homepage design is going to be fairly simple. So this is good enough to start with. So the first thing I want to do is select a photo to use for the background. Uh, these images I found on Unsplash, like I mentioned before. And you'll notice one thing that is common between them is most of them have people. Well, almost all of them have a person or multiple people in the shot. Uh, the reason I went with this style of photography is because this is what I do when I uh, listen to podcasts. I'm either walking or on a hike or working out or just off on my own deep in thought. So I thought this would be a great choice to use for our application. So I really like this shot of this uh, older gentleman uh, in a coffee shop. Uh, there's a few others. This one I really like could be great because it's got a lot of people. You would potentially listen to a podcast on a bus and this would be good to put text on top of down here because it's a, a clean background. There was another one that I really liked, this one. Uh, I really love the blue and darker tones. I think uh, having white text on top would make it pop and then we could have a nice color to uh, for the call to action. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. Let me just select that. Uh, let me move this out of the way and then I'll drop this into Photoshop and scale it up as needed. It doesn't look too pixelated, so I think we're good here. Scale it up a bit more. And then I'm gonna try to center the gentleman's uh, leg in the middle of the composition. So that looks pretty good, but I th think the image is a bit light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm gonna to go to edit, fill, uh, and fill the contents with black. And then I'm going to drop the opacity down to say uh, 40%. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks awesome. So let me name this as background and then I'll lock these two layers. Cool. So now we have a good uh, composition to work from. So I know I want a logo and navigation, and then I want a big bold title and a call to action button. So let's start with the title. I'm going to uh, just make a text area. 
I'm going to select a font called uh, Open Sans, which is a free font that you can go and download. Uh, I'll do Open Sans, let's try bold. Then I'll center it and change color to white to make it nice and bold. And then bring up the font size quite a bit. All right, and I'm just going to say discover your new favorite podcast or create your own. Uh, I'm not liking the bold, so let's try dropping that to semi. Okay. Um, then I'm going to hit Command T to bring up the text attributes, and then I'm going to change the letting, bring it up a bit, and then let's scale it in. Bring up the guide, and I'm hitting Command T, and let's center that. That is beautiful. All right, so next we want... Uh, let's say two buttons, one to join and one to uh, go explore and discover new podcasts. So I'm going to grab a rounded corner and let's just create a simple shape. Uh, I'm going to go up to the fill and change it to uh, just black for now and no stroke. All right, and then I'm going to go over to the properties and change the uh, make sure I got this selected. Change the border radius. I'm just going to bump it up quite a bit. There we go. Now I have a rounded corner. Beautiful. So let's select a color for this uh, call to action button. We want it to pop off the page. Um, I'm thinking a either a red color or possibly like a yellow, orangish uh, would pop good off the blue tones of the background photography. Uh, so let's go to like the oranges. Uh, let's do orange. And let's desaturate a bit by going a bit in the middle. Maybe add a bit more orange. Hmm, there we go. That right there looks pretty good. I like that. Let's use it for now. I'm going to create another. Actually, I'll just copy and paste this. I'll say create a podcast. And then obviously this is massive, so we don't want it that size. Let's uh, bring it above the rounded shape. Let's make this not bold. Uh, let's just make it regular font weight and drop it down. And center it on there. And then this button is far too big, so let's uh, shrink it down. Maybe make it a bit wider. That looks pretty good. Um, well, this is off-centered now uh, vertically, so let's uh, bring this up. All right, uh, the creative podcast, I also want a second button, um, but this one I don't want to be as prominent, so instead of a big bold color, let's uh, make it just a white. How about that? And the text, we will, let's get one of these darker tones, darker blue. That looks pretty good. And I will say explore on this one. So for these buttons, I'm going to keep the width the same uh, just because you could add a certain padding around these. But if it would look strange if the padding uh, matched, whoops, it, it looks a lot more cohesive and uh, symmetrical when the buttons are the same width. So let's just keep it like that for now. That looks pretty good. All right, so now let's do a navigation. Um, for the logo, I'm just going to do a simple text. Let's do podcast.fm. Uh, let's tweak it a bit. Let's do command T to open up the text attributes. Uh, let's make it all caps and let's bump up the letting a bit. Maybe 400. That might be too much. 300. 
or tracking, not letting. I'm sorry. That looks pretty good. Whoops. Uh, I accidentally undid everything. There we go. Now let's shrink it down. Command T, and then I'm holding Shift to scale it. And let's bring up the guides. I usually like to offset the navigation and the logo um, to be about 5% uh, from the edge. Um, so I'm going to use guide guide to add two grids uh, or two guides, 5% on each side. Beautiful. And then let's make another one for the navigation. Uh, we don't want this to be all caps or have any uh, tracking on it. So let's get rid of those and then make it right justified. And then we'll probably want a few links, uh, one to explore. Uh, these will be on every page, which is why we're having multiple. Um, let's add some space, maybe a sign in, and another create a podcast. That looks good, except this text is far too big. Let's shrink it down. There we go. That looks better. And actually, I'm going to make it uh, about the same width on each side, top and bottom. Same for this as well. I usually don't worry too much about the exact spacing of stuff simply because I'm going to clean all this up in code. So unless you're like passing this uh, Photoshop document off to another developer, which in our case we aren't because we're gonna do everything ourselves, or you are showing it to a client, then yes, make it perfect. But in our case, uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. So we won't spend the time to make sure our document is pixel perfect. Something's bugging me about the title. I think it's the font weight, so I'm gonna try to just do a regular font size. And uh, let's make it a bit bigger and breathe. Let's bump up the letting so it can breathe a bit more, just slightly. Uh, maybe let's uh, move these apart a bit. Bring up the guides. I'm hitting uh, command colon for that. There we go. This looks pretty great to me. Let's uh, clean up the files a bit. Um, let's just say, call this button right, call this one button left, uh, call this navigation and logo. You can call this the title. And then let's uh, group the title and the buttons. Let's call this a uh, call to action. And then let's make another header or another folder and call this header. And let's put the navigation in there and the logo. Beautiful. All right, so I really like the tones of this photo. I kind of want to use that as the base for the rest of our app. We don't want our app to feel, well, I don't think our app should feel this uh, dark. Uh, throughout the entire thing, but I do like using these darker tones as well as this pop of color. Um, so I think if we used, whoops, if we used the colors like, let me open up a new document. And I'm just going to grab this right here. If we used a white color, and let's say, the color of this, let's try it. I think this is a pretty good color scheme. And then we would probably want a color to something a bit lighter to go with it and a bit darker for the call to action. Whoops. That looks like a pretty good color scheme. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and save this and we can refer back to it uh, as we design our application. But in the next step, we will start designing 
the podcast index page.